Let's fix Pop Ops Loco here on Bong Strains today. Hey everybody, welcome to the railroad to Bong Strains once more time. Today we're having a little bit of a bit of a different change of pace. This is my wife's grandfather's train. Uh, this came out in 1941. This is a pre-war 1684 by Lionel. I got it because you know, the family found it in an attic, like a lot of times, and they didn't know what to do with it. They knew I liked trains, and so they said, could you make it go? And I was able to get it running, and um, it's been fun to, to sort of help part of this family history come back. Pretty sure this is the first time this thing has ever been serviced. I think my wife's grandfather played with it for many years, uh, never really cleaned it, and put it in a box, and that's where it was left in the attic. So when I took it out of the box, it was going only in reverse and at a very fast speed only. Uh, so I'm hoping that if I clean it up, we can get it to a, at least a slower crawl, uh, which would be a nice achievement. First step is to remove the two body screws. One is right behind the steam chest. And the other one right in front of the cab. I like to put the screws in a cup or some sort of box or container to make sure that they uh, don't get lost. And now would be a good moment to put it in the cradle. Now you have to remove the back wheels or the uh, trailing wheels to release the engine from the chassis. The light is still attached to the chassis, which is still connected to the power source on the motor itself. So. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in place and try to work with it for now. It might break, but then I can go ahead and solder it back on. Now you're ready to get inside the motor itself. You move this top brush plate and uh, remove that so you can get at the commutator on the inside. The brushes will pop out, so you got to be careful. Remember, the brushes are spring-loaded, and so they'll just pop out and they could go across the room if you're not careful. As you can see, there's one that just fell out onto the uh, onto the cradle there. So use the TV tuner cleaner to clean out the brush wells. And we'll be uh, taking out the armature entirely. It comes right out. And I can clean the commutator face with the pencil method. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. This is about 80 years of oxidation on this commutator. It's uh, kind of fulfilling to clean it off in one go. The main task is just to try to get any of the moving parts ungunkified and any of the uh, electric components that would uh, conduct electricity get them also cleaned. Uh, it looks to me like this thing has not been serviced in a long, long time, maybe ever. While I've been doing this, uh, the brushes have been in that pool of TV tuner cleaner. I don't know if it helps to soak them, but uh, I figured uh, they might as well sit in something clean. And then in the uh, gear well, or whatever you call that, I, I am adding in just a little bit more TV tuner just to get some of the old gunk out. And since I'm in a cleaning mood, we'll go ahead and clean the wheels. Now putting the commutator back in, it's time to put the brushes back in and 
put the motor back together. Now these are a lot cleaner than they were before. I'm wondering if I can actually get this thing to a pretty good crawl if I cleat it enough. We'll see and give it a test later. Now we'll add some uh, oil to the commutator shaft and uh, on both sides and use the uh, movement of the engine to spread it around in there a little bit. Add some lubrication to the uh, valve gear and the running gears, the drive gears. And after all that jostling, the uh, light solder did break off, so I had to resolder that. Now go ahead and put it back together, starting with the uh, rear trailing truck. I'm quite sure that this uh, engine has never been serviced before, so uh, in a way this is a little bit of history to uh, be the first person to take this engine and uh, give it some manner of a tune-up. That's kind of neat. As far as getting it to go forward and reverse, I didn't film this, but I actually uh, uh, did not want to take apart the E-unit, so I was hoping that if I just did a desperation spray of TV tuner cleaner, that would resolve the problem, and sure enough, it moves in forward now, so that's uh, really exciting. So on the whole, I have to say, uh, it's running pretty well now. That is a nice slow crawl for a 80 year old motor, three pole, uh, going forward and reverse now. It's fulfilling to, uh, to get uh, this family heirloom uh, back in shape and, and running in a, in a way that it did many years ago. There's more to talk about the history of this train and how it means something to our family. All those cars we haven't even talked about. But we'll, we'll get to that in another day. For today, thank you for watching this video about the 1684. And uh, please like and subscribe and you can see more videos like this. And uh, we have some more history of different locomotives coming up soon. Once again, thanks for watching and Hope you have a great day.